My Daddy Snores by Nancy Rothstein, illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. On Monday, Daddy's snore boomed like a dinosaur's roar. The windows rattled, the walls trembled, so... Mommy played musical beds. She tried sleeping in my bed, but I hogged the blanket. She tried sleeping in Natalie's crib, but it broke. On Tuesday, Daddy's snore rumbled like an earthquake. It shook Mommy right out of bed, so... She slept in the bathtub, but the faucet dripped water on her head all night long. Drip, 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 drip. On Wednesday, Daddy Snore chugged like a freight train, so... Mommy slept in Hammy's cage, but she was too squished and it smelled funny. On Thursday, Daddy Snore buzzed like a bumblebee, so Mommy slept in the doghouse. But poor Rover didn't sleep a wink. He howled instead very loudly. Arroo! On Friday, Daddy Snore whistled like a teapot. So this time, Mommy made Daddy sleep in Splishy's bowl. But even Daddy's bubbles snored loudly. It wasn't fair to Splishy at all. On Saturday, Daddy's snore honked like a truck. Mommy had a great idea. She made Daddy sleep in our tent. But he woke up all the birds. Then the birds woke us up. It was not a great idea after all. On Sunday morning, Mommy looked like a zombie having a bad hair day. No more snoring, she yelled. She took Daddy to the doctor, and the doctor helped to cure Daddy's snoring. On Sunday night, Daddy didn't snore. Our whole house was quiet. Mommy slept, I slept, Natalie slept, Rover and Splishy and Hammy slept until... Daddy started talking in his sleep. Thanks! I love more ice cream! Thank you all so much for reading with me today. I hope you will consider subscribing for more. And don't forget, just keep reading!